They've been on strike now for nearly three weeks, with no sign that management will change its mind on its choice of editor. But protesting outside the newspaper's publishing house, the Journal du Dimanche's staff say they're as determined as ever. Management is adamant that the decision to appoint Geoffroy Lejeune is irreversible. But we've also been very firm about this appointment, which we categorically reject. Striking staff say that Geoffroy Lejeune expresses values that are contrary to the moderate views of Le Journal du Dimanche, which is France's only national Sunday newspaper. Lejeune is close to several senior far-right political figures and was formerly editor of far-right weekly Valeurs Actuelles. The publication was found guilty of racist hate speech in 2021 after it published cartoons depicting a French black MP as a nude slave in chains. Every day, 95% of us vote to extend the strike. What we're fighting for isn't just our newspaper. It's very important because we're very attached to the paper, but we're fighting for something bigger than ourselves. The Journal du Dimanche's owner, Lagardère, was recently acquired by Vincent Bolloré, making the newspaper the latest in a long list of controversial takeovers of media outlets by the billionaire mogul as he expands his empire. In 2016, Bolloré provoked a record staff walkout when he acquired news channel Itélé, then turned it into ultra-conservative mouthpiece CNews. Dubbed France's Fox News by critics, CNews provided an important platform for far-right presidential hopeful Éric Zemmour and has helped to move hardline views into the mainstream. Staff at Le Journal du Dimanche fear the same fate for their paper and are calling on French President Emmanuel Macron to bring in more protection of media independence.